This is it. The baby's coming. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Socially Sensitive Podcast. I'm your host, David. I'm Laura. Hey, we're going to watch Superstore. This is episode, season one, episode 11. We watched episode 10, last episode, last time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, which, which it was called uh, Demotion. Demotion. That's when uh, Dina. Yeah, stepped down. There. Yeah, stepped down so that she could date Jonah, which <laughs> ended up not. Working out, and Mateo, he, uh, you know, practiced all episode to apply for Dina's position, yeah. um, <laughs> in which he, uh, so he could interview for it and never actually interviewed for it because Glenn kept trying to get Amy um, to, to it. take it. Yeah. And by the end of the episode, she, she ended did. up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so um, this episode is titled Labor. Um, we're assuming it has something to do with. Cheyenne. Yeah. Or her because you know she's like fourteen months pregnant. That's what it looks like. <laughs> um, so she is about to pop, and I imagine she will have just a guess a baby in this episode. Um, yeah, she'll probably have it at the store. About to yeah. Guess. <laughs> oh well. All right. Let's go ahead and jump into that. Oh, hi, Dina. <laughs> You're a little too close. I'm weak to you. Hey, girl. Oh, wow. How was your day? That's how normal people start a conversation. We were number one in shrink reduction and last in employee satisfaction. I did that. Hmm. Now the world <laughs> just seems dull or something. Uh -oh. <laughs> Not dull. Well. <laughs> dull now. Yeah, that's what it looks like is going to happen. So. <laughs> yeah, about to get exciting. <laughs> hospital? I don't think I'm going to make it to the hospital. I think I'm having this baby here. Okay. You're not going to have the baby in the store. You have plenty of time, Chai. And it could be false labor, you know? That's called a Braxton Hicks contraction. This baby is not going to be born in cloud nine. Maybe it's Braxton Hicks. Okay, we get it. You know the term Braxton Hicks. We're all very impressed. I feel nothing. Attention <laughs> shoppers. Is okay, there a doctor minutes, no. in the... Who am I kidding? This is cloud nine. Anybody here watch a lot of Grey's Anatomy? Imagine if he's real selective on which uh, tiles. Yeah, that's what picks. I was thinking. Is he gonna um be picky about which tiles? Yeah. <laughs> oh. He knows nothing. I know some doctors. Yeah. Need room. He knows All right. Cheyenne, I need you to listen to me here and we will get through this. In the last 24 hours, have you taken any medication I need to know about? Just some Tums. Calcium carbonate. That's fine. That's not gonna harm the baby. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, that's all I know. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's it? Well, yeah. I'm a pharmacist. The contractions are longer. That means you're in, it's called active labor. So I guess you're in active labor. I'm going to, I'm going to go get some stuff. Wow. <laughs> Stick it down. Yeah, that's exactly what I was expecting. Uh, like he's looking at shower curtains though, not even <laughs> towels. Well, you have to get the towel to match. Oh, uh, I see. Yes. Cheyenne, I want you to wait until you have an uncontrollable urge to push, okay? And then you're going to bear down with okay, all your strength for Okay, where did they get the skirt? She wasn't wearing a skirt a, time, a minute okay? ago. She was I wearing pants. I can't know how to handle this. What? Is it a skirt or is it just like a blanket or something? Oh, well, it might be a blanket. I don't know. Or a throw or something. Oh, I played the abortion doctor in a hell house once. Oh, cool. <laughs> if it helps, I'm a trained midwife. Yeah, that helps, Sandra. Um... Garrett, you're filming this? Yeah, for Bo. I figured he'd want to see it. Fine. Can everyone else back up? This is a private moment. <laughs> this is it. The baby's coming. <laughs> what is he doing? He's putting it all back. All right. That's nice. I like that. I like that. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. Oh, Were you going to um, catch it? The contraction stopped. Oh, that's, um, huh. It's Braxton Hicks, I guess. It's false labor. The company's targeted maneuvers are also a direct reflection of its mission. It reads Cloud Nine's mission. She's still in the. having something. Yeah. The mission statement is the lower price <gasps> point creates a. Okay, uh, I'm sorry. Practicing her breathing, maybe? You okay? Oh! <gasps> I'm fine. Oh, it's just oh, the baby's compressing my lungs. I'm oh, making it really hard for me to just take.
take a full breath. I can't go home. I need the hours, you know, for this little girl. <gasps> oh. <gasps> Did it kick? No. <gasps> I just, I touch myself here and it makes me pee a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, then. Ridiculous. Did you guys know that in every other first world nation, <laughs> paid maternity leave is just automatic? Well, no, no, you are not going to forward us another article. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was a big one. <laughs> it depends on Each of us would officially take a sick day, but we'd still come in and we would clock in as Cheyenne so that she can take the day off but still get paid. Cloud9 made over a <laughs> billion dollars last year. Why don't we just ask them to pay for maternity leave? Oh, you want to just call up corporate and ask them? That sounds easy. It's worth a shot, isn't it? I mean, what's the worst they can do? Say no? Yeah, call and try. Well, I mean, he's not wrong, right. but um, they probably will say no. But this... Employee services. Hi, uh, this is Amy Dubinowski from store 1217. <laughs> Did he not know her last time? I guess time? not. He's like, Dubinowski. <laughs> we have an employee here who's about to have a baby, and I was wondering if maybe we could get her some paid maternity leave. Oh, her name's actually I'm sorry, Amy. We don't offer paid maternity well, some of us were wondering if you could change that policy because we really want it. Um, that's just not something we offer. Okay, but is it like a conversation you guys are having? Because I know other big companies do offer it. Um, typically, their employees would be in unions. I'm transferring but... now. Please hold. He said the U yeah. word. <laughs> <laughs> you don't say that. What are you doing? Why would you say that? Say what? Hey there, Amy. This is Jeremy, Vice President of Employee Relations. Hi. I don't know exactly... Uh, do me a solid and hang tight for one second, Amy. <laughs> Let me patch in a few other people. Yeah, because you just used that word and we can't have that. Yeah, Walmart is always that way. If you just <laughs> even mention the word. It, yeah, it's a, uh oh, shut her down. What's happening? <laughs> Please hold for Greg. Who's Greg? Why are we getting Greg? Go for Greg. Hey, it's Jeremy. I've got Rebecca from Legal and Amy from Store 1217. Or we've got that union problem. Oh, no. No. no, no. We were talking about maternity leave and somebody very annoying mentioned the word union. Oh, okay. Let's just all calm down, take a breath, <laughs> step back from the ledge. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. No, there's no ledge. Nobody's talking. Or maybe you should play into it a little. Yeah. Yeah, we're talking about unions. so that we can nope. get maternity leave. Right. Away. And nobody's going on strike. Please hold. <laughs> oh! <laughs> uh, yeah, hi. Okay, you've got Howard, Sue, Cheryl, Keith, Guillermo, That's so many Renee, people. and Alan here. Hi. How you doing? Hi. Hi. Okay, hang tight. Now it's a party. We're sending someone down to you first thing tomorrow morning. No. No, 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 You don't have to do that. Take care. Amazing talk. How did I not know your last name was Dubinowski? <laughs> <laughs> That's what he got from that <laughs> conversation. Not the fact that they know we're going to have a whole bunch of men. Grab some coffee, help out. yourself to a donut hole. <laughs> <laughs> you see what's... A donut, donut hole. hole. Just one. Yeah. No. That's all we can afford, even though we made, um, you know... <laughs> a billion dollars. Yeah. <laughs> going on here, right? Corporate smells trouble, so they send in a shirt. This is going to be a long day. <laughs> yeah. Hello, 1217. My name is Steve. Does anyone here know who I am? Oh, Steve. I a union buster. Good one. I'm going to remember that one. Funny. <laughs> no, I am a labor relations consultant. Yeah, Cloud9 is said. an anti union. Yeah. Unions are great for people whose companies don't listen to them, but whatever your concerns are, you can always bring. I've heard that exact speech. <laughs> Right have you? Corporate. Yeah. I've given that oh, exact great. speech. Some of us did have some concerns that I wanted to ask you about. And I want to hear about them. But first, we're going to have some fun, yeah? Has everyone gotten some coffee and a donut hole? You're going to play a union organizer, and you're going to try to get me to sign this union card. Okay? Sure. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, hi. Oh. Which normally Glenn wouldn't be there. He's salary management, so uh, he, yeah. he would have been shuttled off somewhere. Mm, okay. He wouldn't even be a part of this conversation. Huh. Uh, my name's Steve, and the union... Uh, okay, you know what, you're doing great, but my name is Steve, so that might be a little confusing for everyone, so maybe pick uh, another name. Steve? <laughs> All right. I'm going to be the Steve in this scene, right? So. Be Sorry, Glenn, how about that? Uh, no, you're that's what I was saying. Why do you need to change his name? Hello there, Steve. Yep. My name's... Any name at all. 
or Glenn? T. Literally, you know what? Any other name in the entire universe. <laughs> Steve. <laughs> okay, you know what? Let's give Glenn a round of applause. You did. Thank you for that, uh -oh. uh, Dina. Dina. He's gonna regret this. Yeah. Is going to be our union organizer, and she's going to try to get me to sign she's this. She's going to convince card. him. Let's see be. if Dina is up for the challenge. Okay. Hey, how'd you like to join a union? No thanks. I don't need to. Cloud Nine already listens to my concerns. I do not need to pay someone to speak for me. See, I shut her down. Those are two examples. Stop interrupting me. You will sign this card, or I will choke the life out of you. Whoa! Wow. And the Oscar <laughs> goes to Dina, right? See, she was playing a character there. That oh, was I'm not playing a character. This is me, Dina, talking to you, Union Buster Steve. I'm in a dark place right now, and quite frankly, <laughs> I have nothing left to lose. So you will sign this <laughs> card, or I will be waiting for you in the parking lot at the end of the night where I will wrap my hands around that tiny chicken neck of yours and stare deep into your eyes while I watch the lights go out. Oh, the coffee's You want gone. some of mine? Oh. oh. <laughs> How you choose Union. to use them no. is up to you. What's Thank you. You, you mm -hmm. know I need to... Uh, report, report this. this. Oh, okay. okay, no need. Cloud Nine has an open door policy. Okay, don't yeah. need more bosses. Oh no, I like to keep my own, my own money. Okay, this is what and, I imagine. And then ends this. No, we are pro employee. Union unions equal higher prices. <laughs> We, which all of that is kind of true, but um, why do people join unions? Oh, thank you, God. I know, right? <laughs> um, excuse me, sorry, uh, sorry, guys, but you, you had said earlier that maybe we could voice some concerns at the end of the meeting. Great. So a couple of us were talking about the possibility of paid maternity leave for the employees. Mm. You know, Cloud9 is devoted to supporting the welfare and values of all of its workers. Okay, thanks. Uh, could you be a little more specific? I love this. <laughs> no, I can't because I only know a few answers. Yeah. Wait, but you're, you're not actually saying anything. anything. That's because I'm truly listening. You know what I just realized? <laughs> no, you're not. We have enough donut holes for all. I think I Kamala have Harris one. used to be a union buster. <laughs> Maybe she was. <laughs> all of you to have one more each, right? One Dig more. in, everyone. That meeting was such a joke. They're not going to do anything for Cheyenne. They don't care. You're just realizing that now. Like, Mateo, what was it you were complaining about yesterday? Oh, remember? Yeah. Why are our customers so ugly? Mm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, the, uh, how they, they keep us under 40 hours so they don't have to give us benefits. Oh, right, yeah, that, that sucks too. You know, maybe we should form a union. Mm. Okay, calm down. Dude, you can't get everybody here to agree to join a union. We couldn't even agree on a theme for our summer barbecue. You just want everything <laughs> to stay exactly the same? That's ridiculous. What if Rosa Parks... Whoa. Got it. Amped up. Sorry. <laughs> Intent to unionize. Yep. International Brotherhood of Sanitation Workers. I printed it off the web. I'm going to cross that out and write Cloud9. I'm sorry. Were you not at that extremely long and early meeting this morning? Yeah, I was. And, and all it did was confirm that nothing is going to change around here unless we change it. <laughs> Just stands by doing nothing <laughs> while people around me need help. Which is it's exactly what, what's what happening doing. at the moment. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I get it. Real people's dogs. <laughs> oh my gosh. Stick. She has tongs. Yeah, I don't think she needs her. Uh, uh, Sandra's telling her no, though. Yeah. We'll see if she listens. But... Which uh, Garrett's filming again. So. Of course, but yeah. uh, Sandra is a midwife, so yeah, maybe she can get things so under control. So sick and tired we'll of being painted. Is the baby going to be born before they go back out there? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Saying you don't know how the real world works. <laughs> Yeah, She's in I the next so. box. We should yeah. prop up her. Oh. Oh, she's she's a baby. Awesome. Harmonica. Oh, could you not baptize my baby? Oh, I'm sorry. Force of habit. You are not coming to work tomorrow. I need the money. And they said I would mostly be done bleeding by then. But you should be with the baby, <laughs> oh my though. Gosh. It's okay. My mom can watch her. Cheyenne, this is unacceptable. You've distracted us from our work. You've left your insides all over the floor, and, and now you've brought your child to work. Glenn, what are you... No, no, I mean it. You're suspended for with four pay. weeks. Uh, with pay. Mm-hmm. Oh, but I... Oh, but? You, you want to make it six weeks? 
Okay, fine. Bam. Six weeks. Uh, yeah. Oh. Hey, Glenn. I just wanted to say that what you did back there was awesome. Thank you. Don't worry. <laughs> you won't even notice Cheyenne is gone. I don't oh, think fired him probably. Is that it's what not happens? My problem anymore. Yeah, yeah, they they let me go. What? Yeah. They can't just fire you. You've given your whole life to this place. No. What? What are, you, what, are, what are you talking about? They asked me if I wanted to make a suggestion for my replacement, and nobody knows this store better than you. Someone <laughs> is going to be in that chair tomorrow, and that person has to take care of everyone in this store. I'd rather that person be you than some stranger. Can you... They're going to go on strike. Can you do that? Yeah. Yeah. I can do it. What's wrong? They fired Glenn. What? Yeah, so, um, about that walkout. All the employees are leaving early because they're staging the okay, walkout. Okay, uh, Because Glenn got fired. Yeah, let's just everyone go. And Cloud9 still won't care. Yeah, probably not. Okay, you know what? I understand that you're upset about Glenn. I, I know, and I, and I get that. No, 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 come on, corporate cares. I've got donut holes. Yeah. <laughs> Go wrong. It's worth a shot, right? So. Either that or we all get fired. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What now? I wonder if anyone stayed inside. I don't you know. Think somebody would. Yeah, they'd be like, no, I don't want to lose my job. Right. Dina. Well, Dana's taking control about something because she got the... Listen up! I have something I'd like to say. I know you're scared. This is a big moment. But rest assured, Cloud9 will be fine without you. <laughs> anyway, I've demagnetized your key cards and you will receive your final paychecks in the mail with the cost of your vest deducted from them. But I've got a store to manage. Thank you. Dana was the one that stayed. Yeah. Which, uh, yeah, we figured there would be someone. Yeah. Made her manager, I guess. Mm, yeah. <laughs> so, um, uh, I guess we have to wait till next season or uh, next week. <laughs> or next week, yeah. <laughs> um, for season two, episode one. Yeah. And the title of that one is Olympics. Hmm. I don't know what that seems a little they're making. Yeah. yeah, that seems a little off to <laughs> Okay. But uh I don't know. I, I like that episode. Um yeah. yeah, that definitely fits with the uh the thought of unions in uh, big box stores. They or the uh how much they don't like them. <laughs> Be sure, like we say, hit the subscribe button. We're only just a couple away from uh, that 100 mark. Um, so uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and uh, give it a thumbs up also. Hit that notification bell so you find out when we release the next episode, Season 2, Episode 1 um, of Superstore or any of the other shows which we're doing. Um, but I guess that's it. Yeah. Anything else? No. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well. You all have a great evening. See you next time. Bye. Bye.